So what's going on guys, it is JM, it is Speedboxing. Make sure you guys subscribe to this channel before you click on any of the videos. Also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions on what I'm saying in any of my videos. Like always, it is appreciated if you guys could drop me a quick sub or two on my channel. So, Billy Joe Saunders has split from his trainer, Adam Booth, before they've even had a fight together. But it looks like he could have made an even better move here because he is now training with Dominic Ingle. Which was a very random move by Billy Joe Saunders. Like I wouldn't have expected Billy Joe Saunders to have done this. But this could be a very good move for him. He says the reason that he's switched trainers like this. Is because Adam Booth obviously is based in London. So he needs to get away from his home. And he needs to go down to Sheffield. Because he feels like when he's at home or closer to home. Then he gets dragged into his lifestyle outside of boxing which means he's not focusing on boxing he just needs to get away from it all and in Sheffield he can do that and he can focus on his boxing and obviously Dominic Ingle is going to help him try and lose the weight as well like help him get him into fantastic shape because he's done it many times with Kel Brook they know what they're doing down there um, the Ingles like say what you want about Kel Brook and Dominic Ingle but one thing they're really good at is getting fighters into fighting shape and it'd be interesting to see if they can do it with Billy Joe Saunders because if they can do it with Billy Joe Saunders then Billy Joe Saunders could be a really really good fighter because Billy Joe Saunders is a good fighter anyway but I've always felt like with Billy Joe Saunders he has stamina issues but if he can somehow um, try and sort these stamina issues out then I think he could be a very hard fight for anyone in the middleweight division because Billy Joe Saunders is a very good fighter in terms of technical ability and this is what Dominic Ingle saying I'm gonna quote Dominic Ingle here he says we've got him living in a house next to the gym we've got the same team behind him who whipped Kel Brook into shape including dietitian Greg Marriott I train him at some point we'll take him up to Sheffield Hallam University I got a call a couple of weeks back from Frank Warren asking if I'd like to train him and to be honest I don't tend to train kids from other gyms who are ready made, I just don't do it. But Billy Joe I've known for many years, my kids have boxed him, I knew him when he was on the GB squad as an amateur. He's an entertaining fellow, he can fight, that's not what you have to teach him, it's his lifestyle, getting him into shape. He said to me, I couldn't believe looking at Kel Brook at the first Errol Spence press conference. We all had bets he wouldn't make the weight. I couldn't believe it when he made the weight. He looked fantastic. I said to him, it's just hard work and determination getting rid of distractions in your life. So, Dominic Ingle saying he's not going to try and focus too much on the boxing with Billy Joe Saunders. Obviously, they're going to set up game plans for fights and he's going to be in his corner. And obviously, he's going to give him little things to do in there to try and help his performances out but the main goal with Dominic Ingle and Billy Joe Saunders is to try and get Billy Joe Saunders into fighting shape and obviously he's going to try and take him to the Sheffield Hallam University that's where they like to do all the diet tricks and set up a diet plan and to try and get Billy Joe Saunders into the best condition he can because Billy Joe Saunders should be fighting in high level middleweight fights because he is the WBO middleweight champion and to be in high level um, middleweight fights he needs to be in high level condition especially if he wants to fight the Canelo Golovkin winner to fight the likes of Danny Jacobs and David Lemieux because these guys have excellent stamina so yeah it'll be interesting to see how Billy Joe Saunders gets on with Dominic Ingle I think this is a good move and obviously he tried it with Adam Booth but like he said, there's too many distractions around him when he's with Adam Booth. Obviously, he's closer to home, so I can't really hold that against him. If he wants to get away from the distractions, he's obviously noticed them and he wants to make a change. So you can't really diss the guy for doing that. But yeah, really, Joe Saunders is meant to be back in action on September the 16th, the same night as Canelo Golovkin. But his opponent is yet to be announced. He was meant to fight his mandatory challenger, Avatando Kurtzides, on July 8th. But Kurt Sides has recently been arrested, apparently being part of a crime syndicate over in the United States. So, yeah, Billy Joe Saunders looking to get back in the ring after a long layoff once again. This would have been the first time Billy Joe Saunders would have fought since December of 2016. So it will be nine months and it will only be his second fight in 21 months. So 
been a long layoff for Billy Joe Saunders, but hopefully he can get back into good shape and fight regular, and then we can see him in top level fights. So yeah, comment below in the comment section. It is 